So I'm Ashley Valdkamp and I have been in real estate since 2008. And I'm Lisa Mitchell and I've been in real estate um, since 2011. So I originally went to hair school in Toronto and thought I was going to kind of go down that avenue in the beauty industry and that sort of thing. And after graduating, I was kind of like, you know what, I'm not really liking this downtown Toronto kind of busy hustle bustle lifestyle. So then I was just kind of like looking around and I knew a couple realtors. So I decided to, before I was fully committed to getting the courses done and going to school again, to get a job at a real estate office to see if that was even something that, you know, I was kind of interested in since I've already wasted money and time um, going to hair school. So I got a job at Coldwell Banker and I worked at the front desk for a little while and until I finished my courses and then I have never looked back since I graduated and had my license since 2008. Um, it was always something that I was considering because um, you know my first experience with purchasing a home I felt like I um, didn't have a great experience and so I wanted to get into um, you know this business and to be able to um, provide the service that I was you know wanting that I didn't get um, so that's what I really strive for in my business now is to make sure that people understand what's happening and and um, know exactly you know what's going on throughout the whole process um, and then also I was fortunate enough to travel with my husband he was a professional hockey player and we lived in Europe for 13 years and so um, it also gave me the opportunity to uh, take the courses online and um, you know that was a bonus as well so I was, I was very fortunate with that. I didn't know Ashley at all before real estate. Um, I was doing real estate I think maybe a few years before we met. Yeah. Yeah and I was kind of always part-time because I had traveled and I was um, living with my husband overseas and able to do real estate part-time. So. Um, we actually met at an old office of ours on, a, on another team and um, we, just, we just clicked and we connected and um, I'm sure Ashley says the same thing but we have the same morals, we have the same um, goal in mind. And Yeah and then yeah. With, with being young moms again it was really important to us to have each other um, and build a business with somebody because we know this business can be very you know, time, 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 you need to commit the time and we are also, we love to spend time with our family, mm -hmm. so just having someone there that we could, you know, have help with, yeah, the support. that we could rely yeah. on each other, mm -hmm. and just know that what we're doing is, is always, you know, what we wanted. Mm -hmm. Like we have a vision in mind and we have never steered away from that vision. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so that was 2016. Yeah. Yeah, because Easton was born in 2017. So we yeah. started that in 2016 and it was almost like, it was like immediately, you know, get to the drawing yeah. board. What are we going to do? What is the marketing going to be like? So that's yeah. when the Rise Realty Group came in. And like Lisa and I, we just felt that we wanted to create something that, you know, we could have other agents join our mission and, and join our kind mm -hmm. of entourage and, and they could build a business with their name and, and mm -hmm. have Ashley and Lisa away because it's not about us, it's, it's about the business and it's about you know what we stand for and, yep. and our mission and, and our values and our morals and all that fun stuff. And this is Vance. <laughs> so Rise is basically, like we did have a couple other names that we were toying with the idea, we said it, we plastered it on the wall, we kind of got sick of it. Then we saw some other people kind of and we we're like meh. Mm -hmm. so, we thought of rise and basically like rise above, rise up, raising kind expectations. Of, yeah, yeah, like that's raising expectations mm -hmm. and yeah, like even just like the little things like the sunrise, like such a beautiful thing and that's kind of what we want to be known as. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and it really simple. Stuck. Yeah. We looked at it once and it was just yeah, that's it. So we yeah. work with tons of individuals. We work with First time home buyers, we work with people that are moving up and buying their family home. We mm -hmm. work with downsizing. Mm -hmm. We work with, you know, when like family crisis happens and mm -hmm. they need to move for whatever reason. Yeah. And it's just like having the number one step to number whatever step mm -hmm. it ends at and everything is 
like we take it seriously. Everything yeah. is, and like, we and we take their family and their 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 personal things too seriously, right? Like we we actually care. Like we really really, um, you know, take take their feelings home with us, you know, and and we we want them. Um, to be happy in the end and that's all that we want. We want them to not regret their decision. We want them to make sure we'll show you know so many houses and and we we know by the time that they buy a home that they're going to love it because we have put so much into them and invested so much time. Well and trust and, with them and, too. and we yeah. want to make sure that they trust us yeah. like wholeheartedly a hundred percent. Um, and we do a lot of business with like referrals and repeat customers and, and that yeah. sort of thing. So we know that if they're re if they're referring their family to us, that there yeah. already is a baseline of trust. Yeah, and absolutely. Yeah, and that's really important to us. So. Yes, very important. Mm -hmm.